kink for an issue. Kink for an issue. Let's go. So there's two issues I talked about. I haven't pulled up on my phone because border patrol. It was border security and political hey, corruption. Hey, October. Wait, How wait. you doing? Border. <laughs> you can tell Mike doesn't want to talk about this. <laughs> no, she just looks so adorable. I just oh. wanted to fucking call her over, bro. So how do we fix the border security and political corruption connected to our border specifically? Well, if your only answer is we can't, then congratulations. You just touched on two seconds of King for an issue. How do we fix it, though? If you just say we can't, that proves we have an issue we need to talk about. I mean, all the, all the, I'll take the first shot at it. Okay. I mean, Mike, are you so good with that it, one? It's a, it's a political issue too. We're talking about border security and the political corruption, whatever that of entails for border you. Border security? Of border security. Fix that issue wholeheartedly. There's no wrong answer. It's just, it's just us good old boys talking. We I got mean, Navy, Army, and Air Force. Let's go. As Mike would say. It's such a complex question with so many complex answers. Well, well, no, that is absolutely right, and I want to hammer this home for every single issue we do because are you about to we, hump my leg? When we are dealing with a complex issue, it does require a complex answer. And I mean, there's not, there's not one, there's not one solution to but, this problem. But give your best solution that will give us. The potential best outcome. Fix for it the current, based off you. What you can, what you currently perceive as being the best outcome. I mean, you got to figure out who spits or swallows first of all. Of course, Navy. Right. That's that's a pretty important question. That we already answered. we already figured out who had the nicest ass. Okay, so that's all that matters. It okay. wasn't me. I mean, it didn't it didn't make no sense for me. Uh, I didn't care. Um, but. Really, the political corruption for border security is who can get the, the biggest dollar in their pocket, really, I, what I think it boils down to. Not only that, but politicians need to stop using border security to, as, a, as a speaking point on statistics of, for, for election. I mean, Governor Greg Abbott is constantly, well, we're doing this on the border. And, you know, who gives a fuck? No, you're not. Stop lying to the public. You know, when we actually start seeing results, that's when we'll start believing that this is what's really happening. Um, so first thing is politicians need to stop lying because we're not that stupid. Uh, secondly, um, we, we need to have a more open approach to... Um, individuals crossing the border um we need to stop detaining individuals that are crossing the border if we allow them to cross into the united states there is absolutely no reason why they should be detained while their paperwork is pushed through put their ass to work make them start being a uh a uh what is it called a tax paying citizen right make Make them be a good investment into the United States, right? Instead of, well, for the first year, they have to be adopted by a family. And, and then uh, through that adoption, then they, you know, have to find work. And, you know, they can't really make so much money. And, you uh, know, there's okay. so many fucking stipulations. But, but where's the solution? Yeah, we need, we need to know your fix. Specifically, you're, you're pointing out all you're the You're pointing problems. out the issues. We, we the know fit? what the issues are, but well, I was the... giving solutions to the problem, right? Because you, you, they need to be viable sources to our society. But what is right? what is the fix? What is the fix for border security and the political corruption within it? It's a complex Look, issue. If you build a wall, they're gonna build. They're they're gonna jump it, or they're gonna dig a hole under it. No, no, no. right. I, I mean, that's the reality. So, what's the solution? What is your solution for this? I'm not I'm not saying it's a hundred percent foolproof. There's no failure. You know what? Honestly, instead of spending billions of dollars on building walls, spend billions of dollars on hiring legit individuals 
to watch over them. Mm. Get better uh, aerial equipment, cameras, infrared, uh, visibility technology, vehicles, more personnel, and, and pay those individuals what they're worth so that they don't have any reason to take payment, uh, dirty money. So your um, solution is hire the proper people to make sure we correctly. watch over what's going on. Give them the right equipment. Yeah, absolutely. I think if you take care of your border uh, patrol uh, division and your National Guards, if you take good care of them, they're going to take good care and pride in, in their job, and they're going to protect our borders better than anything else. Okay. I, I think we've touched on it with you. Mike, what's your standpoint? So I, I do think that you stated the correct thing in some ways and that you know supporting the border patrol i don't think it's that the wrong people are there i think that they're just not empowered correctly there's not enough of them either well yes and no there are enough of them if you empower them correctly do you know how you empower them correctly fucking you try and cross my border i shoot your ass i am sorry but this is my border. We have legal means for you to cross my border. If you try to cross my border, I am authorizing Border Patrol to shoot you. Well, Texas now has... So in Texas, we now have stand your ground. So We've stand, had that. So, We've had that. Okay. So ranchers can now stand their ground and shoot somebody who is trespassing on their property. About the it ranchers. was previously stated Castle Law. Castle am, Law, but there's also the stand your ground part. I am talking law. about... The Border Patrol themselves. The, the operating officers. Yes, the operating officers and the National Guard <laughs> under my regime are now authorized to, if you're trying to illegally cross my border... Shoot on sight. Shoot on sight. Here's, I mean, and once that gets passed down, like, that happens a couple of times, once, that's going to hit, like, I'm wildfire. sorry, once I stack some bodies, everyone figures it out real quick. Yep. And, you know, honestly, the individuals that are crossing illegally, in my opinion, 90% of the ones that are crossing illegally are up to no good. They're not coming into our country to do good. They're coming into their country, into this country for selfish reasons or to do harm to this country and to individuals in this country. Otherwise, why wouldn't you come in the legal way? Now I don't have a I don't have an answer for the political side of this conversation. The I corruption because yeah. of the 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 political corruption. Because realistically, like other than saying stop the corruption, I don't have a solid answer. I mean, really, you know, I I was watching a show, and as fiction as it is, it doesn't really matter. They said, "Welcome to DC. This is how we do business," right? And it's and it, it it was basically it doesn't matter how you do it it's going to be corrupt. You're you're in somebody's bed somehow some way and in order to get something that you need pushed through, you got to do something dirty for somebody else. But just because you know that there's going to be corruption, does not mean that you have to say, well, I guess there's corruption. I'm just going to accept every measure of corruption that is out there. No, no, yep. we do the best. We can. Right. So right? with what we you got. mitigate it as much as we possibly can. If right. I can jump in on my piece, since have you have yeah, you I'm pushed good. all I'm yours good. and I'm you good. pushed all yours? I'm just bantering back and forth. I do think no, and I I applaud that. That definitely needs to happen while we're talking about King for an issue. Well we're almost out of time, so pictures. We got time. We have time. We have plenty of time. Well, I'm gonna banter on yours. I mean Let's that's go. fine. I do think we need to have a letter of the law. And what I'm not mean? saying corruption won't happen. I'm saying we use the corruption properly. Every single system has been corrupted to date. We don't have a single system, including taxes. Right. Hey, well, you know what? If you want to really get by to the point IRS is even pushing, if you legally sell drugs, just let us know what you pay on taxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what your income is. So we already have this whole section of we know there's corruption right so society wise if we know corruption exists we can use this to 
push our agenda further for the betterment of society. So if we if we empower the border patrol, border security, shoot on sight. You know, first thing, shoot a warning shot. If they don't back down, okay, well then now we're shooting to kill. Yeah. How come across everywhere else, society-wise, world-wise, we shoot to kill? Iran, yeah. India, Pakistan, China, Russia. I'm sorry, Russia. you start crossing into my border, and it's like, I may or may not give you a warning shot. Where's you your won't... passport? Yeah. the first, Where's your passport? We're all armed. Legally crossover. Cool, you know what? I, I still understand with this process, illegals, illegal immigrants will still cross over. With or without proper paperwork, it's like, oh, we're trying to push this, or we're we're migrant workers. And it's like, okay, cool. Which migrant workers are still legal by our tax code? Mm-hmm. And Mike, quickly look up. Is it more expensive? How how much does it cost to come over the border legally? Like, how much do you have to pay as a non-U.S. citizen to come over here and get a visa? Okay, keep talking. I'll look it up. So I don't know on that one. I do know they earn enough to pay for a visa for this. So if we have enough workers to do this, we have enough people coming in to do this. Okay, we have fixed this whole border issue because we're shooting on site. We're doing the proper protocols. We're we're doing everything that needs to happen. Now the political corruption, the way I would fix it, seriously is going to go to IRS. The government's really going to look at okay, well where is this because most, if not all, a large majority of political corruption is money. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, this Swiss bank account paid this. You know what? Let's track this. Nope. Oh, Mike's talking. <clears throat> um, let's see. This is on boundless.com. So I, I, this is just the first website that popped up, right? Um, it says the government filing fees for getting a family-based green card is $3,005 for an applicant. So living family. in the United States, or thirteen forty for an applicant living outside the United States. This does not include the typical cost of the required medical examinations, which varies by provider. So, family probably touches about four individuals, mm-hmm. which was like three thousand and change. But, but an individual no, is thirteen hundred. It's three thousand per person per, per individual family. for a family, though. Yes, so you get verbiage you have, is very important, right. especially if you have US. four people in that family. That's twelve thousand twenty dollars. But think about it. But if you come the over that illegally, he, that he talked about, individual was thirteen forty. I think green per, green card application form is one thousand four hundred and forty dollars. One thousand four hundred fourteen forty. Work permit application form is two hundred and sixty dollars. So that so work permit migrant workers are two hundred and travel travel permit application form is six hundred and thirty dollars. So that's twenty three. Biometrics is eighty five dollars. Twenty four. State Department processing is three hundred and twenty five dollars. Twenty seven. USCIS immigration fee is three or two thirty five. And the so, medical examination 31. varies. So it's, so it's, it's the still, same price. It still stands Actually, it's on. it's more expensive to do it so, that way. It still so, stands on what I want to talk we're about. Saying, it's a pay to play. Yeah. You it want is. it? You want to be a part of America? You want to be a part of this giant melting pot? Yes, we have our issues, but you want to be a part of our melting pot? This is what you have to do. Well, here's Don't the just thing. jump over and be like, they're oh, paying coyotes it. five to ten thousand dollars to get them across the border. And then once they get across the border, they are king on their own. So don't tell me they don't have the money. Right. Like you're already That's paying the thing. Like you're some paying more to a coyote dude. to get you over here and you're taking a risk of dying in the back of a truck. Yeah. Or getting so, sent back over anyway. So realistically, but that being said, I would not be opposed to it costing for, for Mexico specifically. Mexican Correct. immigrants, Mexican workers, specifically for it to be like 550 and you can get your green card and come over here and work i would as i agree as a or adult a individual no we should i do think we should lower it because most if not all for mexico exactly and because most, if not all mexico workers be our boys but hold have, on. have definitely how touched many, on our blue collar work how many <laughs> 
How many terrorists are coming over our borders? Who aren't Mexican descent? Who aren't Mexican descent. And right that's now. different. That wouldn't cover under his hierarchical change. Yeah, I'm talking about Mexicans. But I mean, if they're... If they if they can get a Mexican passport, nope, legal or illegal, no, nope, it doesn't touch on that. It, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Mexican, right? We're we're talking about our, our blood brothers across yep. the border, okay. right? Like across these are the our these are yep. our folks. Like they live in a different country, yes, but realistically, like there I grew are up next with door these neighbors. People. Yeah, I grew up with these people, and if they just want to come over here to work and make money and send it back to family, I don't have a problem with that. I just want you to do it legally. Yeah, and pay your taxes. So there's a there's a big difference in what we're talking about and what you brought up, but I think we've touched on King for an issue. We've we all we've all issue. agreed we need a solid standpoint on this. We need a a proper fix. We've all got different opinions on where that sits. We've got an level. opinion. Put the comment down below. Yeah, throw a comment we'll, down below. We'll definitely but... tap into it. 